brushing your teeth, it's important to be methodical and go around your mouth and make sure you're not missing any areas. The way I clean my teeth, first of all I floss my teeth, then I'll brush my teeth, then I'll use a fluoride mouthwash after that. The reason we do it in that order is because you're loosening any debris in your mouth and you want to rinse at the end because then you get rid of that debris. When brushing the teeth it's really important to be methodical and work around the whole mouth making sure you're not missing any areas. So make sure you start in one area, angle the brush down and rotate up. So you're not doing a scrubbing me method like that, you're going in, angling in and rotating up, in, angling in, rotating up. Now some patients have got areas that trap plaque, trap tartar and always need to be cleaned when they come to visit us. This, is, this key area is often behind the back of these front teeth here. So I'll often get my patients to really maybe even brush twice or three times down the back there and that really will keep their teeth clean. A great tip for when brushing yours or your child's teeth is to use some disclosing tablets. Disclosing tablets show any areas that you're missing when you're brushing and just highlight them in, in colour. They can be red, they can be blue. So what my patients often do is they'll take a disclosing tablet after they've brushed their teeth, pop it in the mouth, rinse it around for five minutes and it'll highlight any areas you've missed. As part of an oral hygiene regime, it's imperative that all my patients floss. Basically, this cleans in between your teeth to the areas that the toothbrush can't reach. So I always advise my patients to take about a metre or so of dental floss, roll the majority onto the middle finger of one hand, and a small mouth on the other because what you're doing there is creating a reel so you can simply floss one area then you roll it onto the next part floss one other area and roll it onto the next part the reason why you put it on the middle fingers is you can have the other fingers as support so you can get it nice and taut when you move it up and down so your middle fingers and one side for support and so the two thumbs so you can get it up and down so what you then do is go onto one side of the one tooth sliding, the sliding mechanism is really really important not, never do a sawing mechanism because you'll eventually you'll damage the tooth so a sliding mechanism up and down like so and then go on to the other side of the tooth up and down like so you know when you, you finish because you'll hear it go quite squeakily clean then you take it out you'll often have a little bit of blood on there and roll on to the next side so go to the next tooth and go up and down and up and down on the other side as well. Often you will actually go quite into the gum area. Now, don't worry about that, it'll bleed up first. After three to four days, that really will tighten up and go nice and pink. If gums are bleeding, it shows there's some active gum disease present. Now, once the bleeding's gone, the area's healed up and it makes a really big difference to patients' teeth and also the breath.